Oh, good good evening, everybody. I'll be heading out shortly. Um, and and then at 10 o'clock my time, um, we will have the um, the premiere of the chat that I had this morning at half seven in the morning um, with Tracy Keogh. Um, and middle of last week, um, went, went back over the Michael Bell case that was is is a very interesting ongoing case, um, one that the dude had uh, done videos about. Um, and it was posted in the Facebook page of the $50 million bullet, which obviously deals with the, uh, for, for us, the very wrongful um, execution of Michael Funk. Um, and of course, Michael Bell, in many ways, very, very similar circumstances. Um, and I was delighted um, that uh, Michael Bell Sr. Uh, got back in touch with me and, uh, and has since sent me the article um, in the uh, Wisconsin Gazette about his um, approach to Governor Evers to complain about the Attorney General. Um, let's just let's just jump straight in. Um, the the link to the article. So the Wisconsin Examiner is the name of the the newspaper. The link that uh, Michael Bell Senior sent me, um, unfortunately is not available here in Scotland. So uh, very kindly, he put together this PDF, PDF of the article. Oh, I like the badger there. <laughs> um, and uh, so I will put the, um, the link to this uh, PDF that he sent me. Um, this is just such an important case. Um, I feel that obviously, Michael Bell Sr. and his detectives, um, people working with him, is exposing the type of corruption in Wisconsin that we all know about and that really the people of Wisconsin need to wake up to and say, you know, we're not going to put up with this. This this will not abide, as the dude would say. And I can't help thinking that it, it more, more and more needs to be done, as I say, to expose the people of Wisconsin to the kind of injustices that um, that their um, legal system tolerates, um, in fact, sometimes um, actively supports. In the case of uh, obviously Stephen Avery. Um, so anyway, um, Bell, that is Michael Bell Senior, takes fight for new look at son's death to the Department of Justice Governor Kenosha man. Uh, so it all happened in Kenosha, complains that Josh Call, <laughs> the, the son, of course, of Peg Likes Alaga, has ignored him and wants Tony Evers to intervene. The Kenosha man, who has been crusading for a new investigation of his son's death at the hands of police 17 years ago, has launched a new complaint this one directed at Attorney General Josh Call and the Wisconsin, 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 they're not responding, the, the Wisconsin Department of Justice. And here we see um, Michael Bell passes a letter and related material to an aide to um, Tony Evers on Friday. Um, Michael M. Bell's complaint delivered Friday morning to an aide for Governor Evers charges that Josh Call has ignored repeated requests to meet with him to discuss new information about the police shooting of his son, Michael Bell, in November 2004. Bell also charges that the Attorney General has, quote, failed to respond to or investigate a previous complaint that Bell has made against a state crime lab DNA analyst. The earlier complaint grows out of an attempt Bell previously made to seek a new investigation of his son's death. Um, 
you know, we have to praise Michael Bell Sr. He is really, he's got his, um, his jaws into something and he's not letting go. Um, in addition, Bell accuses Call of letting two unrelated Kenosha investigations, one of police misconduct and the other of allegations against two city officials die on the vine by not proper, promptly moving them forward. So this is nothing to do with his son, but he, he, Michael Bell Sr. has seen the kind of shenanigans and wants something done. Bell, Bell dis, de delivered a cover letter along with more than 700 pages of material to the governor's office, meeting briefly with an aide to Evers to hand over the material. An Evers spokesman woman referred a quest for co comment to the Department of Justice, the DOJ, and the DOJ did not respond to requests for comment Friday. I wonder if they're all Tom Fassbender's. Seeking a new investigation, Bell's complaint against Call is the latest in a series of attempts. He and a retired Kenosha police officer. Wow. So a retired Kenosha police officer who obviously knows what it's like being in that department um, have, have made uh, to pressure authorities to take a new look at the details in the fatal, sh fatal shooting of Bell's son by Kenosha police. I'm seeking either to be able to present our evidence to Department of Justice and get further assistance because the information that's out there now doesn't add up or to speak with the governor and allow him to make a decision on how he wants to handle the Department of Justice, Bell said in an interview Friday after handing over the material to Eva's aide. Now, Michael Bell settled a lawsuit over his son's killing with the city of police police in a 2010 um, deal for 1.75 million. I particularly like the next bit. Unlike Stephen Avery, who had to accept that the you know, Manitowoc Sheriff's Department were blameless, as part of the settlement, quote, we refused to accept a non-disclosure confidentiality agreement, he said. In the years since, Bell has campaigned for a new full investigation of the events the night his son. Was killed, he has frequently noted that the Kenosha Police Department conducted the two-day investigation of its own officers, clearing them of wrongdoing. That is just ridiculous. Here in the UK, as such an incident, you would never, ever have one police department, um, you know, investigating themselves. Any, any complaint filed with the police complaints authority would then be dealt with by another police um, department, you know, like a, a police force. Uh, Bell has created a website on which he argues, I must get, get details of that, on which he argues that serious discrepancies in the police accounts of the incident Warrant a full investigation. In the course of his efforts, Bell pushed the Wisconsin legis legislature to enact a 2014 state law requiring deaths involving police officers to be investigated by an outside agency rather than their own departments. Bell's complaint to Tony Evers states that he first wrote to Josh Call asking to meet with the Attorney General in December of 2020. 18 following Josh Call's election, he has and has requested meetings in writing 10 times. This, this, this Michael Bell, somebody like Josh Call, he is just plain ignorant. Neither Call nor his subordinates, with only two exceptions, have uh, has, has failed to even acknowledge or respond to any of these 10 written requests for a meeting. I think that should be that neither Call nor his sub subordinates with the exception of two people, have even acknowledged to respond to any of these 10 written requests for a meeting, the complaint states. The second point of Michael Bell's complaint raises issues unrelated to his son's death. It blames Josh Call again for the alleged lack of progress on two Kenosha investigations. One involved how police and prosecutors handled the revelation of a police officer planting evidence in a homicide case. You know, no wonder they want that covered up because they don't want to 
to have there be any, any mention of planting evidence. Certainly not when making a murderer is Netflix's biggest ever true crime documentary series. The other involved allegations that the city officials tampered with and destroyed city digital records. Wow, that's like handing over bones, isn't it? That should have been kept. Josh Call, quote, failed to properly supervise some of his subordinate, so subordinate assistant attorney generals and agents, the complaint states. This has resulted in two very important cases involving corruption and criminal misconduct by high-ranking city of Kenosha police and city officials to die on the vine. The third point of Bell's complaint has its beginnings when Bell sought a John Doe investigation in 2018 to re-examine his son's death. One of several reasons Bell gave for seeking the review was to challenge the allegation that his son was shot after having put his hand on the service pistol of one of the officers involved in the incident. Crime lad analysis found no evidence of the younger Bell's DNA on the holster or the handle of that officer's gun. Bell has argued the absence of DNA evidence should call into question other details in the police account of the shooting incident. He raised that issue in a meeting with Gravely in 2017. And I don't know if we know who Gravely is, but maybe we'll find out. A year later, the prosecution included that letter in submissions to the judges hearing Bell's petition for a new John Doe investigation. The judge rejected Bell's petition in March 2019, thwarting the father's attempt to get a new look at the circumstances of his son's death. Yes, they do not like. Fingers being pointed at that. Um, questions over touch DNA earlier this year, Russell Beckham. Beckman, a retired Kenosha police detective who has been volunteering on Bell's behalf, filed a complaint with the State Office of Lawyer Regulation, the OLR, against Gravely. Beckham, Beckman's OLR complaint charged that Gravely had mischaracterized the science surrounding whether useful DNA information could be recovered from the officer's gun and holster. OLR rejected Beckman's complaint. Beckman appealed and included his rebuttal to Gravesley's response to his complaint. That appeal was also denied, and Beckman is appealing again. In his 27 letter, Gravely stated that a telephone conversation with the DNS, DNA analysts at the state crime lab supported his assertion that, under the circumstances that had been described in police accounts, DNA evidence would not have been found on the gun. Hmm. In his OLR complaint, Beckman accused the prosecutor of misrepresenting the facts and science of that touch DNA evidence. On March 30th, 2021, Bell filed a complaint with the Department of Justice seeking an investigation of the unnamed crime lab analysis to whom Gravely had referred his complaint Friday charges that Corps office has not responded. So I presume Gravely is, a, is also a member of DOJ. By failing to do so, the Attorney General, quote, <laughs> has obstructed the Bell family's quest to obtain a legitimate investigation into the 2004 death of their son at the hands of the Kenosha police. Michael Bell's complaint states. Uh, interestingly, Michael Bell has two court cases pending connected with his son's death. One is a libel lawsuit against the officer who killed his son and who has written a self-published book about the incident using fictionalized names. That is gross. Uh, that is, gee, that is so crass. The other is a lawsuit demanding that the city of Kenosha turn over the bullet, wow, that police say was the fatal projectile. Bell and an investigator he has hired believe it could demonstrate that the shot was fired in the opposite direction from the way police described in their reports. The documents included with Bell's complaint take up two large loose leaf binders. Bell said he has given the material on flash drives to the governor's office, as well as to five state legislators whose districts include parts of Kenosha County. 
Um, I like this next bit because, you know, Wisconsin have so far managed to trample all over Stephen Avery. He's just a simple salvage yard man. But when they're dealing with Michael Bell, Michael Bell Sr. is a retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel. <laughs> you know, um, you, 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 Wisconsin, you should think very carefully about who you want to pick a fight with, because I don't think this guy is, is going to let you off the hook at all. S said he met briefly with the chief of staff of each of the 12, five lawmakers Friday. Republicans Samantha Kirkman, Tip McGuire, and Todd Onstad, and State Senators Van Wangard, sorry, and Bob Wirch. I'm waiting for everyone to take a look at the complaint and then respond back to me in a written form so that we can understand what's going on. A simple enough request. Now, does Michael Bell worry that his complaint will get a fair hearing from lawmakers in the polarized political environment of the capital? All I know is that I, as a father of someone killed by a police officer, found new evidence and approached the attorney general 10 different times, he replied, and nobody within the DOJ, except for one person, even bothered to respond to anything. What happens between lawmakers is beyond my control, um, Bell continued. But we admire your determination to, to, to make it so that it's not beyond your control, so that you can change um, opinions. If, it, if it's an item of contention, well, then it might be good because it might go under a microscope and further changes and recommendations might come out of it. All I know is that I, as a father of someone killed by have found new evidence and approached the Attorney General 10 different times, he replied, and nobody within the Department of Justice, except for one person, ever bothered to respond to anything. What happens between lawmakers is beyond my control. If it's an item of contention, well, then it might be good. It might, it will be excellent because it will then go under a microscope and further changes and recommendations should come out of it. Um, so this was actually written by um, Eric Gunn. Senior reporter, Eric Gunn reports and writes on, on work and the economy along with related subjects for the Wisconsin Examiner. He spent 24 years as a freelance writer for Milwaukee magazine Isthmus, the progressive BNA Incorporated and other publications, winning awards for investigative reporting, feature writing, beat coverage, business writing and commentary. An East Coast native, he previously covered labor for the Milwaukee Journal after reporting for newspapers in upstate New York and Northern Illinois. He's a graduate of the Beloit Com College uh, in, and study so English, obviously, and the Columbia School of Germ Journalism. Off hours, he is the examiner's resident Springsteen and Jackson Brown fanboy. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Jackson Brown, that was... Uh, the dude sent me quite a few songs by him. He was quite a, uh, a fan of Jackson Brown uh, and model railway nerd. Um, and here we see some of the other articles that he's done about Michael Bell. Excellent. Um, so as I say, I will share that link in the uh, description. Uh, thank you for joining in. Um, you know, it. I think it's difficult at times for somebody like Stephen Avery to garner the kind of support that he needs from the Wisconsin public, as Pete Dassey has often told us. Most most people in Wisconsin, they hate Stephen Avery. Um, you can't say the same about an ex-RAF, I'm sorry, American Air Force uh, lieutenant whose son was um, tragically 
killed by police, um, who then try to cover up the details of that fatal shooting. For, for what purposes? Because um, they just don't like people looking into what they've done wrong. Um, they want to give the illusion of justice when denying it to everybody else. Anyway, um, take care. We'll catch up with you soon. Bye for now.